All right, welcome back everybody to another Halo Reach Mod Tools tutorial session here today. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get aerial vehicle AI. So last episode, I showed you guys how to get vehicle AI. In this episode, I am going to be showing you guys how to get aerial vehicle AI. So I've actually got it all set up for myself and I'm gonna go ahead and go through everything that I did to get this correctly to work. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and go to edit types. We're gonna go to character and see all these different characters that I have added. So let's go ahead and back that thing up there and increase that a little bit. And you'll see the directories for these as well for you guys there. So we have Trooper, Trooper Pilot Flying, Trooper Pilot, and Null Human Flying. Those are the characters that you're going to want to have. And Biped, you can just get in Marine and that'll work for you. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at what our squad looks like. We have squads underscore zero and we have five, five placed spawn points here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So... The first spawn point that you'll have, you want it to be the Null Human Flying. This will give you the best performance in AI flying. Um, basically, these Null characters are the ones that fly you in campaign. They're super, super good at flying. Yeah, you want that as the, ve the vehicle type as Falcon and seat type as Driver. And then the remainder of them, you can actually just leave it on default seat type. Or you can change it to Passenger, Gunner, whatever you want. And also, just to note as well, the vehicle that we'll be using is just the default Falcon. That is all you want to do with the spawn points. Cells, you don't really want to touch anything besides weapon. Don't do anything with characters. For cells, we have it set to 5 for diff count for these troopers. So you can set that to whatever you want. Me personally, I'm just going to have it as 5 for 5 seats. We're going to go ahead and take a look at our zone as well. So, this zone was created by myself. And you can see it's a very, very large zone. We have some pathfinding that's actually up in the air as well, which I'll show you guys how to actually do that. So if we go on zones, areas zero, let's go ahead and click on that. And you want to make sure you tick vehicle area, scroll down and preset is airborne. You definitely want to do that. Now, another thing that you can do to get a little bit better uh, pathfinding in, in terms of that is you can actually bring these up to the wall. Or if you want, like you can spawn like a forge object or like a scenery object to push these nodes up against to get them to be just aerial. So the zone or the area doesn't actually touch the ground. As you can see now, our zone is, is actually in the air. Or you can also just grab the bottom of it and just raise it a bit. That also works as well. Um, but it's completely up to you on how you actually want to go about that. We have it in the air now. We have our pathfinding selected. You can actually generate it if you would like to. Me personally, I generated it first and then I grabbed one, like say one is here. I clicked on it and then I clicked around the map. And after that, you want to actually go ahead and select all of the areas or the little firing positions that you placed on the ground and raise the Z axis up to the point where you want it to be in the air. You can also change the firing point height offset as well. But me personally, I just changed the position local for that. So. Yeah. Okay, so we got all the zones set up. We got the area set up. We got our squad set up. And we also have them set as the zones underscore zero. Let's go ahead and spawn this squad in and see how they do. Place. You can see that the troopers will take off. And we got the pilot in there as well. Like they might hit up against the rock there. Yep, just a titch because I put the, the pathfinding a little close to the rock there. Do that map reset. There we go. Then if we actually place it, you'll notice that it's invisible. So earlier we actually had a trooper in there and they flew a little, uh, they flew okay. The null one will also sometimes have issues flying as well. If they do, I recommend just doing like a map reset or something like that. Sometimes nulls just don't work very good. It's case by case. Try it again with trooper pilot. Sometimes it'll change. Yep. See, there you go. So trooper pilot works better. It's weird. Trooper pilot flying you would think would work better, but no. Trooper pilot works better. So, yeah, guys, that is how you get flying vehicle AI. This is the same thing for uh, Banshees and stuff. You would just go into edit types. Make sure you have the null biped in there. Go to character, add, and if you want, like, an elite to fly. Oops. Elite and then AI. And you would get, like, the pilot one, for example. That one would work the best for you. You can also play around with their biped as well if you want to change, like, what their appearance is for the biped. Um... Yeah, that is how you get vehicle, aerial vehicle AI. If you guys did find the video helpful at any point in time in the video, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button. 
and hit that bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on any more mod tools, tutorials, or mod showcases from myself. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.